This is Big Hawk. And Little Colt. Let's get our game on. Let's go! Hey guys, we are back with another video of Russell Wilson autos that we currently have in our PC and you know, some of his highest selling auto cards and we have some honorable mention ones you know not super you know expensive that you can possibly add to your collection and everything like that but if you're liking this content hit that thumbs up and everything like that and we greatly appreciate it now this is what you guys been waiting for everybody likes to see the autos the autos, man, autos just, they're just different out here. I'm not even gonna front with you guys. Like the autos is like kind of like where it's at. We're gonna go through our PC first and following that we're gonna go to the highest selling ones and then we'll go to some honorable mention, you know, some that you can add to your collection and everything like that. But let's get into this. So we're gonna start off with rookies first. You know we have to start off with the rookies. You may have seen this card in our Prism PC and highest selling Russell Wilson cards video which is a two-part video and you know we featured some of the cards that we had of Russell Wilson that we currently had graded in hand and that we sent off to be graded uh, the highest selling for each year and some sleepers defined for each year that you can add to your PC that a lot of people may not see but let's get into this so we have a 2012 prism auto it's a sticker as you can see there with the little panini little hologram on the sticker and everything like that this one's gonna be out of 250. As you can tell right there, the silver's gonna be out of 99 for the auto. So the next one, ooh, uh, next one we're gonna have 2012 Contenders. <whistles> Reason we got this Contenders, as you can see right there, guys, there's only, will it focus right there? There's only, 75 of them that were ever created and everything like that. So that's why we picked up this one. This is a 9.5. It was almost like a 0.5 away from being a true 9.5. Auto, obviously, is a 10, which we wanted to pick that up. And this is definitely a good one to have. Uh, the only other one higher than these would be the standard uh, contenders. I think blue jersey, white jersey, and there may be another one. We wanted to add this Ricky Inc. To our autos. Next one we're gonna have is first year flawless. Like when people were talking about the first year flawless, I was thinking, yeah, they're they're really really cool. Would we ever get one? And one popped up, and we had to get it. So that's why we have this one right here. This one's gonna be uh, 25 out of 25. I believe they have a red, a blue, and emerald. Uh, you can also get these in. Um, a patch auto as well, which we could have picked up a patch auto, but I just really like the the true auto and everything like that. As you can tell there, we have decent grades on there. So it's gonna be solid nines, only an eight five on the corners, which is a thick card, which is hard to get uh, tens on. And we got a nine for the auto, which, you know, that's pretty good and everything like that. So next one we're gonna have here is a wooden stick. Uh, it's gonna be a 20, 13 Spectra. Spectra, wow, when we first jumped back into the hobby in 2015, 2016, Spectra was like a really high-end one. The reason we picked this up because it's the first year Spectra, uh, obviously, and then the first year they had a patch auto. Um, if you follow anything on Panini America uh, blog, highlighted uh, right when he won the Super Bowl, he came in and signed these cards, all his redemption cards and everything like that. So that kind of added to us wanting to get this one. And they only had um, patch autos, I think, of six to eight players that year. So that's another reason to get it. This one's out of 15. Definitely going to send this one off to get graded. Um, hoping for a nine, 10 auto. Definitely be happy with that one. And our final one that we have in our current PC is going to be the Immaculate Ink. Immaculate 2015 is by far one of our top five card designs. And we had to pick this one up when we seen it on sale. Bought this one sealed and everything like that. They do have some surface issues as you can tell right there. That's not just on the case. A lot of them have been having surface issues and everything like that. But we had to pick this up. Uh, the auto is a little light for my liking, but at the same time, love the card. It's an auto, 10 of 10 gold. As you can tell right there, 2015 Immaculate. Our top 10, one of our top 10 card designs, along with a lot of other ones. So let's go over the uh, top 
selling Russell Wilson auto. So we have a white contenders auto, PSA 10. The next one we're gonna have is a RPA National Treasures 2012. I've seen it from 15 to 30,000. Now the next one would be a 2012 Silver Prism Auto, so for 3K. And that was a BGS, which we have on screen. The next one would be a 2016 National Treasures NFL Shield for 2.5K, which NFL Shields are really going through the roof right now since everybody's getting the logo man for the basketball. So let's get into our honorable mention. I mean, we've been talking about some super, super high-end cards, but let's, let's talk about some that may be under, you know, 1K or anything like that. So one of our honorable mention is gonna be the 2012 Rookie Stallions Auto out of 25, which just sold a few weeks ago, which I've never seen one of these autos. It's a sticker auto, but it sold for 1.2K, which is not bad for a rookie card that you hardly ever see. I wonder if somebody's trying to complete a whole run, a set, or something like that and needed that one. That'd definitely be the time to add that card to your collection. The next one would be a 2021 Mosaic Nike Swoosh 101 Auto, and it sold for 1.2K, which the car looks really, really sweet and everything like that. We have it on screen. Look for to add to your PC. The next one would be a 2012 Top Supreme out of five Supreme is I think a set that a lot of people sleep on. We do have pretty much a full run besides the 2012 uh, Top Supreme that we're currently completing. We have the 2015, 14, 13, and we just need a 2012, uh, which we were looking at an auto, maybe picking up, you know, in the next week or so or anything like that. 